Hello guys and welcome to a video guide or a tutorial on how to fix throttling issue on an Astroc 960 GM VGS3 FX motherboard. Now this will be kind of specific because it worked for me, but probably this same solution can be used for majority motherboards because the reason for why um, you know your CPU is throttling whilst you're playing games doing intensive stuff sometimes even using your CPU to like 50% is because most of the time I shouldn't say most of the time but one of the reasons and I think one of the major reasons is because these things are overheating now the reason why they're overheating is because they do not have heat sinks I don't think that this is these I think these are the little ones, but either way, this part of the CPU, uh, I should say motherboard, is just overheating and that's the cause of the throttling in my case. Again, you might read Google and search the forums and some people might say it's the BIOS. Again, I tried everything, but the reason why it is for me and probably for you guys if you use the same motherboard is because it's overheating. Now, I used to use... Uh, dual core CPU back in the day and it was Athlon X2 270 and I never had this problem because it was a pretty weak CPU etc. Long story short I decided to upgrade my CPU to an 8 core and for a while I've been dealing with um, simply said uh, throttling sometimes it did throttle sometimes it did not and I just you know, I, I was I always knew it was something with the heating, but I did not know what specifically. And I try to cool this part, that part, put the freaking thing uh, fan on top. Long story short, it didn't work. So I'm gonna show you what I did to fix it for me. Now, if your CPU, I should say, if your motherboard case does not have active cooling, use the same technique I did right now. Just put it on a board. Let's say the board you bought. Uh, you know your motherboard with you got the freaking carton box i should say put it on top of it don't put it on any polystyrol because it will burn it uh the reason why is because if you don't have a motherboard motherboard freaking C, uh, pc case with active cooling especially when your motherboard vrms or mosfets who knows how these parts are called but these parts especially if your motherboard doesn't have these parts cooled, it will be a lot harder for you to cool artificially if it's going to be in the case. You actually can stick your hand inside and just feel if it really feels hot. And when I used the case, it was extremely hot. So even though it kind of worked whilst cooling, not really efficiently. So I kind of took it out the box. Gonna buy a better case with active cooling and then put it back. But you can run it like that even. Kind of looks cool. Kind of ghetto, you know what I mean? So... Again, the first solution without even trying anything else. Don't even try to put fans. It will not work. There's just too much heat buildup. So what do you do? If your case does not have active cooling, remove it from the case and put it on a board. But you might still try to attach a fan even if your case does not have active cooling. But as I said, it will be a lot harder to cool a case or a motherboard which is already hot inside from its own heat buildup. So... Do that or not, but you can try to do the next step. Anyway, what am I talking about? So, after you've done that or not, if you want to still try and see if the fan method works, what do you do is, in my case, you attach a fan. That's a 12-volt fan. Now, it very much matters. That's actually, um, I can't really show it, but that's 0 0.16 amperes. Now, I think that's amperes if my physics is correct. Now, sorry for the dirty room. That's, um, yeah, I should have cleaned it, but oh well, I guess. All kind of stuff is scattered around. The reason why it matters what kind of fan, you might say, oh, I have a fan. I, nah, you probably won't really fix it. Depends on what kind of fan you have because it really depends on how hard it blows. So I use this fan and also I use a 12 volt, here you go, my legs, block so I could connect it. It's actually from a TV like an antenna back in the days thing I'm from Europe so I have this connector and it's just just connected like that with cables but you should probably protect it because you might zap yourself and in general you might damage the um, the thing itself and that's pretty much it that's really it in a nutshell you just connect the fan and point it 
to blow air that way. Don't put it that. I tried it. It, it still kind of throttles. Put it this way. Vertical, but behind there. Now, I kind of use hot glue. Again, you might try, try to use uh, regular glue to fix it. And it is very sturdy. I tried some clay and stuff, but it does not hold. So use at least hot glue or uh, super glue or something like that. Glue it. And so it just stays there and blows air at that place. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, yeah. Uh, she even lost the breath. So in conjunction, it's really just the reason why I'm falling. It's because I'm losing breath. Speaking too fast. It's because the things here are too hot. There's no heat sinks. And that's why the board is cheap. Everybody thinks that they have to have everything perfectly. Well, you might think that's true, but that's the reason why the boards are cheap. Again, it has nice DDR3 RAM. It has support for different things, but it has crappy VRM. So that actually very much hurts the performance of the freaking computer usage, especially on high loads. Anyways, so that is that. As I said, first step is the case. If you use a freaking case with no cooling, throw it out, put it on a board. You might try to attach a fan to it, but probably it won't work. It still will be too hot for a fan to cool it down. Put it on a board, attach a fan. Or if you have a case with active cooling and it's still throttling, and it's probably 99% will be still throttling because that's what you came here. Attach a fan somehow in a case with hot glue or something just figure it out because it actually is going to be probably vertical So kind of put it up, but you got to find a way But the but the whole point is to put it right there and put the flow there right there So I'm repeating myself three times, but right now let's show them tests for you guys to show For me guys to show you what that it actually works so right now we go back we go we go to the computer I mean, it's live. I'm not even pausing. So we have a computer. We have right now here a uh, W monitor to see the temps and all that stuff. And here we have, as you can see, FX8300 8-core CPU. And we're going to use Prime95 for cracking up the PC. So one second, I'll turn it on. Anyway, so here's Prime95. PC is pretty cool. So it's not really that hot. And we're going to wait and see how long it takes for it to build up to start throttling. I'm actually still gonna pause it, but you guys are gonna see it's pretty quick. Anyway, so barely about three minutes in, again, a cool pretty much CPU. Just, I just booted it up and let it be like that. And as you can see, it's barely 50 degrees and it's fucking throttling. So that's the case. You might think, oh, maybe that's because temperatures. Look at the temperatures. Look at it. Small temperatures, why is it throttling? Well, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. We just go here. Again, we look at it. Look at the thing. I can't, nothing is attached. It's all good. We go back. We turn off the Prime 95. Again, the CPU will be hot. God damn it. Sorry for that. I have to turn it off. Again, we just turn it off. It goes back. Now, we go plug in the secret ingredient. That is the freaking fan. Simple as that. We go here. Oh, there's actually, I think that's actually my motherboard's name. Connect it. It's pretty loud. That's a nice breeze. Oh, also, I use actually chopsticks or that's used picks for holding my CPU fan because I do not have any freaking screws. Either way, feels pretty cool right there. And we go back. And we go back and start the freaking thing again. Now again, guys, you should just believe me. Again, I'm not trying to trying to scam you or something, but how the freaking start it again? Anyway, so I restart the whole thing because I don't know how to freaking turn it on when it's the freaking program on. I'm sorry for that. Also, you might ask me, why am I recording with the phone, the desktop? Well, because simply one. Right now, we can just wait till the temperature is going to crack up, but I'm going to just unpause to show you guys that it freaking works. Think about having your uh, motherboard outside the case. If you don't have the active cooling, you usually save like two degrees. So as you can see right now, last time I actually started throttling at about 49 degrees. Right now, there's absolutely no throttling. Yesterday I was running it for about two hours. I have not seen any throttling. I actually used uh, 
Ida 64 Extreme because you can see a very long, uh, you know, information um, chart, I should say, whether you throttle or not, because this is only 60 seconds. So I did that. Probably I will be uh, running it today for like 12 hours. And I think about running it for 24, maybe the next week when I'll have time to set up the freaking computer. Even though you can leave it AFK. So again, you look at it, everything is absolutely fine. I can turn it off and it will be <laughs> instantly. That's going to be funny. So again, everything is fine. Look at it. Everything is fine. Now, I just, just pick up the thing. Just pick up the thing. Merely wait. Merely wait. Just a little bit. I'll wait a little bit. Look at the temperatures, 54 degrees. You wait just some time, and hopefully the freaking space will be available. And as you can see, it just throttles instantly. That's it. And that is the reason why it throttles, in my case. Again, it's because of that part, VRMs or MOSFETs or how is it called? There's no heat sinks. Sometimes even when there's when there are heat sinks, you have to use fans, but there are no <laughs> there are no heat sinks. It's only a fan. And no fans, I should say, and that's with throttles. Again, we come back. Anyway, right now throttles, big time. So that's pretty much it. You can probably use the same thing and try to use it on different motherboards. Uh, Astrock, I heard different versions have this problem. Again, usually it occurs at cheap motherboards, micro ATX, because they really try to save on these things. Because obviously, even though, I don't know, that, uh, like this motherboard supports such a good processor, a core 95 volts. But, that's, but the VRMs are pretty crappy and even though it runs, it really doesn't if it throttles. So that's pretty much it. Now, the thing that might actually happen to you guys is that the fan might be too weak or the fan you might be using just, just not cooling the same good for me. So if that happens, buy some heat sinks. You can actually buy a separate heat sinks. I think the, not this part is actually overheating, but these black things and attach the heat sinks to one of these or multiple of these. I'm actually even not sure what is overheating here, but they're all heating, but it's probably these small ones. Attach some heat sinks, then attach some fans. Maybe attach a separate fan. I actually was thinking of attaching like a fan with hot glue, like one more maybe right here, but it's already working. So maybe something will change. Maybe as time goes, it always is still throttling, but I'll just add something I'll figure out. But right now I know the solution and I know the cause is because of heat here. Simple as that. And right now all you have to do is just find a way to overcome it. And again, the reason is simply